not the kind of intimate, personal sort of interior landscapes that we're used to hearing from any of the cabinet officials of the last four years. But but it, it, it really is sort of this openness, this willingness to be vulnerable, to talk about being in a supporting role. And it, it, it's fascinating and very welcome. Is that representation matters, which we saw, of course, uh, during the Obama administration. Um, there's more to the job than that, to be sure. But uh, I remember that photo of the um, little black child uh, in the Oval Office touching President Obama's hair. And that this reminds me of that yep. in some way, which is, you know, the reality yeah. is while while it's trailblazing, right, to see see this in the in the Oval Office um, and in the White House, it's a really it's really a reflection of the way the country is and the reality um, that we're living like this right now. I mean, so many Americans are in families that look like um, very different than what maybe was Leave it to Beaver in the 1950s. I mean, this is the reality that we're living. Um, and I think it's really uh, cathartic and refreshing to see that reflected in the highest office in the land. So this is not unfamiliar to Americans. Um, you know, people are, are living in single families. They, there are plenty of women who are breadwinners. And I think just seeing that um, reflected in the White House is just very exciting. It just is, is much closer to reality um, than it used to be. And it just gives you a sense that they're not out of touch with uh, the lives of Americans. It's, it's very refreshing. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.